Today on Made to Hack, I paint using chalk. This is softwood uh, boards that I've made this uh, cabinet structure from. I'm not sure whether it's pine or maybe it's spruce. So I've screwed the ends, I've glued the ends, and now what I'm doing, I'm just going over with a um, putty knife and using this all-purpose uh, putty to uh, just smooth out some of the surfaces and get everything nice and, and uh, smooth and ready for sanding before um, applying a, a primer. Now, uh, this is an all-purpose putty. It's not specifically just for wood. Uh, I assume um, if you're working with hardwood or, or better woods, you would probably use something that has uh, maybe sawdust or some kind of wood filler. And it would be using maybe something more of a PVA binder. But um, this isn't a, like a super, um, fancy wood or anything so I'm this this is what I had access to this all-purpose putty so I'm just gonna go through it it goes on well it's very similar I think to drywall putty or drywall mud I don't know what uh, the principal differences are you know anywhere where you need to smooth it out just apply it with a putty knife thin it smooth it out and once it's dry I will just go over and sand it first with a rougher grit, something like a 100 and then maybe a 220 to smooth it out further. Just going through and applying some putty. Now that the putty has dried, what I have here is uh, just a piece of um, scrap plywood to which I uh, spray glued. Uh, on one side, a 100 grit sandpaper, on the other side, a 220. And well, I first start off with the, uh, the rougher side to sand wherever it's rough, wherever there's uh, some, some raised areas. Just kind of go over it everywhere and just smooth out um, the, the, the high parts. And then with a 220 side, I'll come back after and smooth it out. Whenever you're sanding, it's always a good idea to use a, a block, a flat block. It just, uh, you know, just works better. Now that I've finished vacuuming, I'm just taking a rag and kind of just going to wipe off all the surfaces. There's still going to be quite a lot of dust. Suppose you could just get a lightly misted rag as well just to help, but don't get it too wet. Just a little bit of a mist on it to help along. For primer, I'm just using a water-based polyurethane primer. Um, you could use alkyd-based, I guess, if you want, or you know, whatever other primer you have. But since I'm also going to be using a water-based paint, or latex paint, I think this polyurethane primer works fine. I'm going to both apply it with, with a roller and a brush in the corners. So. Uh, the instructions say to just give it one coat, so that's what I'll be doing. I'll be giving it one coat of polyurethane primer. And then I may go and do another sanding with 180 grit or maybe 220 grit after I do the primer just to um, get it nice and um, nice and smooth surface before uh, the first layer of paint.
So what I've got set up here are the doors of the cabinet that I'm painting. This is just MDF doors that have already been primed with the same water-based primer as the cabinet. What I'm using as a paint is this, um, well it's this water-based uh, latex paint that has I guess uh, calcium carbonate or chalk mixed in. Uh, this is a Rust-Oleum brand but um, I believe there's also something called chalk paint which is a brand I think of uh, Annie Sloan or something like that. Now what you want to do is you want to make sure you've mixed it well. Sometimes the, the chalk will separate from the mixed and essentially it sort of comes out as this, um, well I guess maybe as heavy cream or like sour cream consistency. For the doors I'm going to do two coats using just a paintbrush going cross hatch. For the cabinet the first coat I'll probably do with a, um, a roller and then the second coat I'll finish with the, the brush. My understanding that going cross hatch uh, ensures the best sort of um, uh, finish for these types of paints. So. so I don't necessarily want a very thick coat on the first coat. So i um, just going to go ahead and do a cross hatch uh, the entire uh, uh, surface area. So the first coat of paint is dried. Now I'm taking a 220 grit sand, uh, sanding block and I'm going to lightly just go over it to remove some of the high points. You don't want to get in there hard. It's just really just soft, smooth. Get out all the high points before going on to the second coat. Okay, so it's been a, a day since we've given it the second coat of paint and once again a brand new sanding pad just to remove the high spots. You don't want to go in hard. This is the final layer of paint. So just a little bit where you find it, it's a little bit rough. I'm gonna I'm not really I'm not gonna be pressing down, I'm just gonna let the weight of the pad drag down. It should start to feel smooth to the touch. If ever you have to go in and touch up a few areas, let's say some paint came off or you had a chip, it's still fine to do. But essentially, once it feels nice and smooth to the touch, then you can clean it off and then start the wax. So with the surface cleaned, what I've got here is a piece of linen or cotton or whatever. I'm just going to apply some of this wax. You can of course also use uh, uh, like a microfiber cloth, whatever is also made for like waxing a car should work just as good. And I'm just going to apply it and just circularly just rub it into the over the surface. So at first glance it will uh, sort of darken the color a little bit but this should um, come back to its normal color once I guess the wax gets in there or just you know dries up a little bit. So essentially at this moment pretty much uh, the piece is done. I mean you, you, it's painted, uh, it's waxed, it's just ready to be installed and uh, you know, used. Of course you do want to maybe let the, the wax uh, get in penetrate and dry so don't like you know leave it a few hours and then uh, install it of course hey thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to this channel
Also, make sure to turn on notifications to receive updates whenever I post a new video. If you like what you saw, hit that like button as well.